Uh, so after home brewing for a number of years, Jack and I started the home brewing co-op where we got uh, 12 guys together and bought a pretty large home brewing system. We did that for uh, about a year and decided that we wanted to try and start a brewery. So we planned that for a little while, met Casey, loved his beers, and decided to take it up to Ventura, where there was a little more market opportunity than San Diego, which has lots and lots of awesome breweries already. My favorite part of the job is getting to talk to different customers, just hearing their story, um, hearing where they came from and where they're, where they're off to. A lot of people come like, coming from a destination, like they're coming from up north and they're going to San Diego or and so they just like happen to stop by and it's cool to hear their story and what they're up to. And it's yeah, well, you know, a lot of a lot of brewers have mug clubs or, or membership clubs where you can buy in and you get some sort of a benefit. We're trying to make the collective a, a little bit more than just that. While, while there are some great benefits uh, that, that members enjoy, uh, we're really trying to get people to join who, who believe what we believe. And uh, we've always viewed Topa Topa as a conduit to talk about something bigger, um, larger than, than just the beer that we make. Um, so we, we'd like to use the collective as a vehicle for that, to, to get people kind of on our team or in our tribe uh, who believe uh, in higher quality products, who believe in preserving the environment wherever they can, and who believe in having a good time and, and getting together and, and, and conversing uh, like people seem to not want to do too much anymore. So that's a big driving force behind the collective, getting people here, uh, gathering in the tasting room, uh, gathering around some great beer and, and talking about what, uh, you know, what concerns them. So the part of the, do part of the um, movement for the collective, we're donating a portion of uh, the sales from that collective group uh, to the Los Padres National Forest uh, Forest Watch, which um, is a really great organization that works tirelessly to preserve the open space that um, I think a lot of people who live in this region, that's what they love. And uh, so that that's a big part of, of who we want to be a, as a brand. My favorite part about Topa Topa is the vibe. Uh, from the day I walked in this place, it was just there. Um, I have kids and a wife and um, they all love love coming in here and hanging out and just doing their thing, you know. And it, you know the place is great. We we have a shop dog usually. TJ's not here today, but you know we got the dog running around and just good people, good beer, good food. When the food trucks are around, and it's a good place. So after we uh, we brew those great beers and we're serving in the tasting room, it's always nice to kind of just step back and watch people drinking them, having fun and kind of um, setting the tone for either when they're getting off work or um, about to enjoy their weekend or maybe they take a growler home and share it with friends. It's, it's kind of cool to be a part of um, their social gatherings and I don't think I've ever seen anyone, um, at least in Topa Topa's tasting room, like upset that they're drinking beer and just having a good time hanging out. 